Drugs, guns, violence, decades of deaths blamed on a drug gang known as the Booby Boys. Kenneth Williams and his group is responsible for 30 plus homicides and well over 100 non critical shootings in Dade County alone. We've learned this man is also named in the indictment. Leonard Bo Brown, an alleged hitman for the Boobies. He was captured in Tallahassee last year. Others named in the sealed indictment are suspected in the murders of two people at a Miami gas station last February in which automatic weapons were used. And others are linked to the murder of three people, including a five-year-old at a Miami apartment complex in May of 1995. It was too trigger happy. You know, with the John Doe's, you can't make no money if you attracting attention, you know. And that's what they were doing. All that gunplay was doing them but bringing attention. And 7 News was there Thursday morning as federal agents took suspected members handcuffed into DEA headquarters. Anybody who went to the trial, which I didn't go because I was in prison, they would have seen them people ain't had nothing but like uh, 100, 125 niggas getting on the stand saying uh, such and such did this, such and such did that. But as far as hardcore evidence, they ain't have nothing. No coke, no weed, no money, nothing. You know what I'm saying? So basically, to me, them the biggest gangsters in the world, the feds. And they do and take as they please. In addition, some of those named in the indictment are suspected of helping the gang move drugs through South Florida ports, hidden in containers of legitimate shipments. The feds say these individuals are dangerous and that anyone associated with the Booby Boys crime wave is bad news. These individuals, these groups of individuals, and you know, they, they gave themselves names, but it was just a group of people that just wanted to make money and were very violent. And if you got in the way, they'd take care of you. What the fuck is the game, the booby boy game? You know what I'm saying? It is one dude from the hood, you know what I'm saying? Him and his friends, you know what I'm saying? They hang out and they just chill. All of a sudden, they done turned it into a game. They gave him a, gave the gang a name, like everybody in the neighborhood was familiarized with who the booby boys were. All that was just really a bunch of bullshit. Malcolm Shaw, a.k.a. The Rat, sold drugs for the gang, according to the indictment. Drugs that the indictment says Susan Hall Gibson stashed in her Miami home for the Booby Boys gang. Rat, that's my brother. That's my oldest brother. Um, he basically, she, he just got caught up on the house um, with a conspiracy law. They gave him 30 years. My brother didn't deserve 30 years. And you know, like Booby said, you know what I'm saying? If anybody he want to get out of there, he want to get Rat out of there. And my auntie Sue. You know what I'm saying? Because basically, them two in there. For nothing, you know what I'm saying? Rat don't do no killing, rat don't do nothing, man, but uh gamble, you know, rat like to gamble, rat like to look good, look fly, and you know, take care of some women. As far as my auntie, I love her to death, you know what I'm saying? When you doing what you doing, you got to think at some point it ain't forever. And at some point things gonna um, get complicated and um at some point things gonna have to get handled. So you know what I'm saying, I want my auntie home, she she you know, she don't need to be in there. She a good, sweet person. She ain't never did nothing to nobody, you know, but try to provide for her family. And um, basically, that was wounded her up where she at. Because right now, out here, it ain't too many opportunities for us. So the streets is all we got. Fed say the Booby Boys gang moved thousands of kilos of drugs through South Florida ports, like the Port of Miami. And once the drugs were in South Florida, the gang moved them into neighborhoods and then into a mass distribution network that spanned the nation. That was a movement, you feel me? Booby was, he was just trying to eat, you know what I'm saying? And he wasn't trying to, he wasn't no nigga who finna come in your area and try to take over your area, but he not gonna let you come in his area. Just respect the game, you feel me? Butch all right, but I don't really too much kick, kick it with Butch, but uh... You know, because everybody who was booby friend was my friend. You understand me? So I, I want to keep that, make that straight for the record. You know what I'm saying? I knew a lot of them guys, but they wasn't my friend. And this is Ben Johnson, a.k.a. Bush. 
He's been connected in this indictment to two fatal drive-by shootings in South Florida. One of those named in the indictment is this now suspended Miami-Dade police officer, Marvin Baker. This video was taken eight months ago as the 16-year veteran officer was arrested by his own department on charges he conspired to rip off drug dealers, charges he has denied. Also named and still on the loose, the Booby Boys' reputed leader and namesake, Kenneth Booby Williams, now one of America's most wanted. As to Kenneth Williams, there is an outstanding $56,000 reward. Straight up, my nigga. Fuck the haters. All the rest. All the ones that eat cheese, they know who they is. They know who they is. Wild and Ray, Zeus, they know who they is. What they, what they had to gain, but go ahead and, and, and just tell them all that shit. Man, them niggas already know what they had to gain. All that shit survived and all these snitching ass niggas out here. The niggas want to get out. Them crackers off and them niggas a little bit of time. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and just go on the time to get your home. We want them niggas just like that. He's a murderer. He's a killer. He don't play. Basically, he ain't had another game with freedom. See, because um, basically when you out here in this game, man, and you throwing bricks at the chain game, first and foremost, if you out here in the streets, you got to know what you're facing. You know what I'm saying? It's for all real niggas, and this is a very important part of this segment, man. It's for all real niggas. And when you out here in the game, you know what you're doing. First and foremost, you stunning, you riding your bendies and all that, your verse, your shivers and all that, you wearing your good diamonds and all that there. Everything is perfect then. But when you fall, even if you fall and ain't had nothing to do with your homeboy, don't take them with you, man, because you know, you feel as though you got something to lose or you want to get back out here to one of these holes or, you know what I'm saying, you just want to snitch on a nigga to free yourself. But you knew what you was getting into when you first started out. You know what I'm saying? That's something that I ain't understand. That's some new 21st century shit. These new niggas out here play, play gangsters, you know, playing like you got niggas now. Uh, you going through with niggas, they shooting at you and they calling the police at the same time. So Ronald Ray and, and, and Zeus ain't have shit to gain but some freedom. My little brother received um, 17 to 22 years. He, he has 22 years. Um, he actually got that on the house just because of his affiliation. Really, you know, you had the rest. Like I say, Ronald Ray, who took the stand and actually said what he said. The way the game is now, see, it ain't like it was. It was loyalty back in the 60s and 70s and early 80s. It was loyalty. Whereas if a brother did something wrong, he had to answer